Keep Alive is a routing software written in C that provides simple and robust facilities for load balancing and high availability in Linux systems. In this video, I want to talk about this technology and how we can use uh, Keep Alive to maintain high availability or or in other words, fail over. And I have made another video, guys, talking just about the technology of high availability and failover. There's a lot of technical terms that I'm gonna use. This will be a practical uh, tutorial. The other video was more like a theoretical, talking about the virtual IP. What is VIP, which is the virtual IP? What is the VRRP, the virtual router redundancy protocol, all that stuff. I'm not gonna discuss these things. I'm gonna reference those videos if you're going to, uh, interesting and to know that. In this video, we're gonna talk about briefly what is failover and high availability. It's a little bit different than load balancing. We're playing at a lower layer in the OSI model, like a little bit lower, okay? And then we're gonna actually use uh, two Raspberry Pis to achieve uh, high availability. I'm gonna explain uh, how we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna uh, build a cluster of Keep Alive using two Raspberry Pis as a failover cluster. I'm gonna have one Raspberry Pi having HA proxy, which is a load balancer, and another Raspberry Pi using also HA proxy. And does so essentially I have two load balancers and uh, both these terminal balancers are pointing to a, no, a bunch of Node.js uh, web servers on the back end running on Docker. And uh, obviously I'm using HA proxy as a layer seven load balancer, but you do not have to use a, a HA proxy for that. You can use Nginx, or any other load balancer that you're comfortable with. With that said, if you're interested to see this video, stay tuned. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Hussein, and this channel we discuss all sorts of software engineering by example. So if you wanna become a better software engineer, consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. That's it, let's just jump into Keep Alive. All right, so the first thing we're gonna discuss, what is a failover? Failover is basically the idea of having clients point to a single server, and if that server fails, the, the setup will automatically heal itself to point clients to another server. So for example, I have a client pointing to this server using a specific IP address, and if that server fails for any reason, the client will automatically without having knowledge, and that's a critical key here, will fail over to another server. These two servers will talk to each other and will negotiate who's gonna carry the responsibility of this virtual IP address. So that's what's happening here in failover. And I, uh, and I, and I recommend you watching my failover video to understand how exactly technically this works. So this is, possible using the technology called the virtual IP and the virtual redundancy router protocol, where this, there will be a master node and a backup node. They will each have their own IP addresses. This is 0, 10, 2, and this is 1. They all have a, have, gonna have a MAC address, and they're gonna talk to each other using a protocol. Says, hey, are you alive? Something it's kinda hard to be to each other. And they will negotiate and elect a leader of this cluster, okay? And both of these, this is the critical board, both of those puppies gonna have the same IP address. It's magic, guys, yes, okay? So both of them were gonna have a same IP address called the virtual IP address, doesn't really exist, but those election happens on this IP address, right? So this is this has an IP address of 100, this also have an IP address of 100, but only one is active at a time. So the client will always communicate with this IP address and it are gonna ask an ARP question and this, they're gonna give you the machine ID or the MAC address and then you're gonna start communicating with that. And if that fails for any reason, the ARP request will essentially render to the other machine, uh, the MAC address of the other machine, and it will forward that. That's so exactly in a nutshell how I explained that in details. If you're interested, go watch that video. Okay, so let's dive into what are we building in this video, guys. Okay, so here's the architecture, the, what I am trying to build. These are four Docker containers. For, um, uh, they are running express servers, 
This is 3001, 3002, 4001, 4002. And they all have a simple express REST API that echoes back the port ID. And the reason I did that is so I can know what exactly what machine I'm hitting. That's it, that doesn't do anything else. But you can use your imagination uh, to actually build any application, right? But I'm building here a load balancer application. So there is, uh, so these are Docker applications, they are all hosted on my machine, which is Hussein Mac, it's a, it's a Mac book. And those are two Raspberry Pis. The IP address of the first Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 1, is 192.168.254.81, and the second one is 254.47. And they are both running an HA proxy load balancer, okay, listening on port 8080. This configuration, Raspberry Pi 1, is load balancing 3001 and 3002. This Raspberry Pi is load balancing 4001 and 4002, okay? So, until this, right, we're gonna show how this works. Clients, there is no virtual IP address or anything here. Clients will consume this IP address. They will be load, load balancing between those two puppies. If they consume this IP address, they will be load balancing between those two puppies. Coolish, coolish. What we wanna do is the following. I wanna install Keep Alive on this machine, Keep Alive on the machine, and I want to do, for those two Raspberry Pis to actually communicate with each other and negotiate on a virtual IP address, which is called 100, and clients will start consuming this 100 API, uh, API, the 100 IP address, okay? And there will always be one master node at, active at a time. And then what I'm gonna do, right, as you can see, everybody will hit the, the master node, right, automatically, and what and when we hit the master node the load balancer will will show these two right and when this dies automatically the load balancer obviously the virtual ip address will shift the mac address to this guy and automatically you will see the change now we're, we're flipping between those two guys and the reason i'm gonna do this is like i'm gonna literally build uh, in, a, in the browser i'm gonna build a little bit of javascript that continues pinging the the virtual ip address how about we actually build that stuff and stop this bs of theoretical stuff let's jump into it all right guys so this is raspberry pi one as i discussed it's running on port 8080 and if i refresh you can see that we're flipping between 3001 and 3002 this is the uh, this is the essentially what I what I told you about right and I already configured that I'm not gonna show you how to do it because we have built all this stuff before I'm gonna reference the HA proxy videos the nginx videos if you're interested to know all of that stuff we have built it before I'm, I, I, I want to make this video as short as possible okay so we're short we're, we're load balancing between these two right this is the Raspberry Pi 1 which is uh, IP address 81 I think okay and Raspberry Pi 2 okay which is also running a share proxy as you can see it's flipping between 4001 and 4002 and here's what I want to do I want to install keep alive on both these Raspberry Pis, and I'm gonna configure a virtual IP address, and I'm gonna tell those two that one of you will have the master, and once we have that, we will start uh, communicating with uh, using the IP address. How about we do that, guys? All right, I am here SSHing onto my first Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 1, okay, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do sudo apt get install keep alive. Okay, so just install and keep alive, making sure everything works. All right, guys, keep alive has been installed. And the next thing we're going to do is just build the configuration of keep alive, okay? So what we're gonna do is just do sudo vim slash etsy, keep alive, keep alive, and keep alive.conf. That's the file we need to edit. So if you have this file exist, just go ahead and delete it, all right, or make it back up of it. I'm gonna create it from scratch here. And here's the configuration, guys. The only thing you need to do is create a VRRP instance, right? Which is a virtual router uh, redundancy protocol instance and call it anything you want. Okay, I'm gonna call it Pi. And this looks very JSON-y, right? But it's not really JSON, looks JSON-y, right? And uh, the first parameter is the state, okay? And we want the initial state when the, both of these guys starts for this guy to be the master state, okay? 
And uh, that means like when, when the Raspberry Pi 1 starts and both of them start to the same, before they even elect any leader, this guy is always to be the master. But then there is a priority that you actually can shift that if you want to. Okay, let's say, for example, Pi 1 is way stronger than Pi 2, right? It's like, uh, and it's actually the other way. I have my, my, my Raspberry Pi 2 is actually way powerful than the Raspberry Pi 1 because it's, a, it's an older model. But nevertheless, the second thing we need to do is where are we here? Which interface, which wireless or Ethernet and network interface are we listening to? And I'm so glad that actually one of the Pi's doesn't even have Wi-Fi because it's so old. It only have Ethernet. So this guy... I have to use Ethernet zero, which is that interface, because there is no wireless on that, right? So I'm gonna use F zero for the Pi one because it's a, it's an Ethernet port. And the next thing we need to do is to give a, a virtual router ID, okay? And this is just a unique identifier for this for this configuration, right? That's another thing we need to provide, okay? Virtual IP address, and then pro priority and you can give a number and the higher the number the higher the priority of this configuration to be actually uh, the leader right i'm gonna give it a hundred and then optionally you can provide authentication okay and you uh, here's the thing guys if if peep if those two machines are talking to each other with a heartbeat they must have some sort of protocol which is the vrrp but that also means anybody can talk to these nodes. You do not want shady nodes talking to each, to your nodes and, and claiming priority on your node. That's dangerous. So you probably need to some sort of an authentication so not anyone can actually connect to this instance, right? And uh, probably don't put a password right? That's probably a bad password, but you want to put as complex password as possible so people can guess it, right? So that's authentication. Again, it's optional, but it's a good idea to put it so other uh, nodes don't just claim it. And the most important thing is this puppy, virtual IP address, guys. And my virtual IP address that I'm going to create is 192.168.254. Uh, that's my gateway and 100. That's what we said, right? Cool. So that's the configuration, guys, for the uh, for this machine. How about we save this configuration and then clear? And how about we actually start keep alive? To start keep alive, you essentially do sudo service keep alive start. That's essentially for my Debian, right? If you're using Red Hat or something else, uh, you might have different syntax, but Ubuntu. Raspberry Pi is identical because both are Debian, so you can start that. But I'm not going to start it yet. How about we go to the other node and actually do the same configuration over the other node, right? All right, same thing. I am on Raspberry Pi 2. What we need to do is essentially do the same thing. sudo apt-get install keep alive, right? Because we need keep alive on this machine. And once we install it, we need to also do the same exact thing. We configure this machine to also be part of the cluster. And how can we make this part of the cluster? That's the tricky part. The virtual IP address will do this trick for us. All right, guys, similar thing. We need to essentially configure this file, right? Keepalife.conf. And uh, very similarly, we can do a VRRP instance and call it Pi2, because why not, right? And uh, state in this case is backup, right? Because that's the backup server. I want this to be a backup server. And the interface is WLAN 0 because this Pi is actually on wireless. And I'm glad that I have actually different configuration to show you that you can actually do that, right? And the virtual, virtual, if I can spit, virtual router ID is 102, sure. Because that was 111, you need a uniquely identifier. And priority is 200. That means the 100 is actually higher than 200. I think so, right? <laughs> At least. And authentication. To authenticate this puppy, we need auth type uh, password, as we said, and auth password 1234. 
or any other more powerful password than this. And the most important thing, virtual IP address, the most important thing here, that's the literally the most important thing without joking, because this is my IP address, 168.254.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.